so listening and you know observing uh, and then and just being patient right uh, things will happen but you need to also be patient it it cannot it's 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 not like a left right left swipe or right swipe that you can just say i am i'm an entrepreneur today right uh, you know it it takes time my name is pani shapuri welcome back to our channel zafal and today we have with us mr amit mishra who has 17 plus years of work experience that helps connect dots for working professionals and entrepreneurs he's a tedx speaker and was strategically involved with some of the renowned startup reality tv shows in india welcome to our channel zafal thank you so before we move towards your story your life journey i want you to tell our viewers a little bit about yourself what you are doing right now so uh, you know everyone my name is amit mishra i am uh, what you call a serial entrepreneur i uh, right now i run a fund syndicate where we invest into early stage startups uh, the whole idea of running this is that we also want to mentor and support them right so apart from money we kind of work as part of their team to ensure that they can grow substantially faster uh, than organically uh, the second thing which which i do uh, which is more of a passion is you know promoting entrepreneurship so we uh, there is a team which we, we run five incubators across tier 3 tier 4 cities right places like gorakhpur dehradun guwahati and we support rural entrepreneurs who are trying to build uh, you know uh, you know who are trying to solve problems for those regions the whole idea is that we don't want them to come to bigger cities because you know the infrastructure is already uh, oh i think overwhelmed uh, uh, so we 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 bring funding to them we bring mentors to them and and we ensure that they can work uh, where their families are right so they can uh, they can stay closer to their families and build businesses so i have been always a curious person right so when i was 16 after my 10th standard i actually started my first business you know we we never okay. called it startup those days right so i started my my uh, you know in a in in a town called ludhiana which was you know which is the textile hub so me and my best friend started this and we started selling it to uh, so we bought some textiles we sell, sold it to people we knew right and then uh, uh, you know we we then we realized this how does this ecosystem work uh, and today i can i can relate to a lot of things which i did wrong <laughs> but that was a great experience and okay. i started my professional yes. journey also very very early right uh, at the age of 19 you know i started working so um, again it it was more about i want to do something differently it was never about i want to become an entrepreneur because i come from a family where except my grandfather who was more of a social entrepreneur uh, and 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 you know uh, there's a benchmark he said he is a padma shri winner uh, so so for me somebody who has impacted you know crores of people in his lifetime Uh, there are there is there are huge you know you know extra large shoes to fill in uh, so so yeah. i think over a period of time i realized that i want to uh, you know do impactful work and that's the reason you know the, the incubators are are not for making money but to create impact and and i am happy that we are we are working with a lot of startups which actually you know not only making money for themselves but they are employing people uh, so 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 directly indirectly you know we are responsible for 1000 families right now right. we are supporting number of startups who are supporting number of people and and that that's a that's a very fulfilling you know uh, experience on its own right so so yeah it was never planned but you know i think it it was supposed to happen it happened to start any uh, any of the startup it requires a lot of learning it requires a lot of experience or the skill set so experience does help Uh, so, for example, when I started, I worked with Nokri. dot com for five years, right? So I was selling Nokri solutions to US and Europe. So there was a lot of experience, right? And and it is again, you know, the curiosity was all was there. So you was working uh, as a market the, marketing specialist or something there at Nokri. I was more, more of a sales. Yeah, I was the so I was the sales, sales right right sales okay. person right. And uh, this this is a time where you know it is be, it, Skype was there, but there was no Google Meets, no you know no Zoom. So we were everything was happening on phone. So I used to pick up the phone, dial number, and it was a cold call which which happens. So I was learning all this by just listening to them and observing. So my hearing skills you know became very very sharp because I was able to understand their tone, yeah. if they are angry, if they are frustrated, you know things like that. 
So, so today it has become much easier because I can, you know, see, yes. let's say I can see expressions, I can, I can relate to it and then I can, but those days were all just voice. Uh, so that was, that was experience that, that was an interesting experience. And, and I had some good people who actually helped me navigate things. So I think there were, there were, I would not say there were many mentors, but I think I was, uh, the, the only good thing which I used to do was I was always the curious one, right? And I would no, not open my mouth uh, just to blabber anything. Yeah. I would al always observe, listen, and then slowly I started opening up. Then I knew that I can speak on this topic. So observation, listening became very, very important and, and it still helps. Because if you're getting into a meeting and you start, you know, just blabbering, yeah. Uh, what 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 also happens because of this this you know entire proactive social media digital marketing thing is that we always have a gun in hand. Yes. That I will not listen to you. I will have a gun and say that you know I am ready to shoot. I'll stop <laughs> and I'll shoot. Yeah. I'm just not listening. I'm not listening to you, which which actually means that you probably said something which was relevant for me, but I completely missed out because I had this gun. Yeah. It said I I'm ready to fire. Yeah. Uh, so so listening. And you know, observing, uh, and then, and just being patient, right? Uh, things will happen, but you need to also be patient. It it cannot. It's 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 not like a left right left swipe or right swipe that you can just say I'm I'm an entrepreneur today. Right. Uh, you know, it, it takes time. Uh, so so you need to be patient, right? So these are the three things which which actually have helped me, right? And and uh, be humble. I think very very important because if you're making you know more than your friends. Or people you know, that doesn't mean that you have achieved anything. What was that challenge? Like, I just wanted to know, and I am very curious to know about that challenge. I actually learned Urdu, some oh. of some word of it, to talk to people from Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India, right? So we, we also were trained. Uh, so there, there were a lot of learnings. Uh, I can talk like about doctor. Extra so, mile for your jobs, like learning a new, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning uh, new words to connect. And, and and that's 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 experiences, right? Those are experiences. Uh, I would see people who are, you know, who are, you know, who are from Haryana or Punjab and then their accent would change. Uh, right. on, on the and then once the shift is over, we are back in, you know, talking in Punjabi or Hindi. Right, right, so, right. So, so those, those are interesting days. And, and, and from my Nokri days, which was, which was, you know, a proper after graduation job, I think thankfully I had a good bunch of people around me, right, who was always ready to help. And uh, it, it, it actually helped that I was curious. I, I wanted to learn more. So I tried everything possible. I used to be after their life, you know, that this is what I'm not able to understand. Uh, this client is acting weird. How do I do try? Uh, there are people who said, you know, try on your own, find your own mojo. And there are people who said that, you know, I, I tried this, this work. So it actually helps. So, you know, you, you need to be open for experiments also that, that actually helps because you are, you are a different individual from others. Yeah. Right. So, Every individual have a different path also. When was the time you uh, thought like, okay, it's I have given my five years to this organization. Now I want a switch. So I tried, you know, uh, I used to within my job, which was just selling knockery solutions. You know, if, if I put it in single line, it was a selling knockery solutions to these clients. But I used to experiment a lot, you know. So there was there was a year when I said I will not sell anything less than this. <laughs> and anything less, this will be sold by my team. Uh, then I, there were certain pro products which nobody had sold in my team. So I said, I will, you know, these are these homepage solutions which were very expensive, and we didn't know that people will pay for, you know, coming from Europe to US. But I said, you know, I'll sell this. Uh, to the next extent that I became the coach for the entire team, which was, you know, 200 people. Uh, so I did that, but I think there was there was a time where I said, you know, I think I've touched, I've completed. My learning has stopped. I need to do more. Otherwise, you know, I'll 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 I'll, I'll stop to you know I'll I'll stop existing for in inside. So so I that that's where the you know that's where the whole idea of switching happened uh, for me. But but you know the good interesting part, uh, Panisha, is that I used to go to in, for interviews and I knew that I'm not going to join those jobs just to understand what is what is my worth in the in the market. I used to do that ex those experiments also. And that helped because I knew that, okay, I don't know this. I need to learn, right? And then probably I can get this job. Right. So, so I used to, again, you know, do these experiments. We should stick to a particular job or we should look for a change. What do you think about that? 
I think uh, at least the, the first few years experiment, right? Uh, until unless you are happy with what you are doing, uh, and and uh, happiness is not about money. Happiness right. over your your you you. So if you are dragging yourself to your work, right? Then you you then you are you are just probably uh, you know you are not doing justice to yourself. Is, is you know I can I can as I can put it as simply as that. But I was always motivated. I will be two hours early to my job at Top Three because I loved what I was doing. I used to train people, you know, and and I was not pay, getting paid for. I was just getting paid to do sales. But all this because, you know, that actually helped me to learn, right, and and to interact. Doing a job or doing a business, what is the hardest thing to do? Very individual, person to person, you know, this. But, but I think. What experience? Do, what do you find challenging? A job or a or a business? anything which which you know which which as i said you know which which pushes you you, you if if it's 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 a drag for you to wake up the next day and reach out to your office if it's a, you know your own your own office or somebody else's office doesn't really matter but if it's dragging you right and pushing you down then it's a, it is a difficult thing but both have their own challenges right uh, in if you're running your own company you're responsible for a lot of people you're right you're responsible to make money you are responsible for the investor expectation, uh, and and when you are working with somebody else, then there are targets. Then there could be you know things which you need to do. You will have office politics. You will have people who will you know, uh, and and then you and none of these. So people say nine to five is something. You know, there is no nine to five. Yes, true. <laughs> Either on the other side, because if you are working in a big city, you probably will start ninety minutes yes. before the office starts right. to travel. And and then you reach out, reach after five five does it happen six right so you probably reach reach home at eight nine so you are actually spending ten hours in your own home it is spending four hours traveling and then the rest in the office uh, and and when you are doing on something on your own there is no Saturdays or Sundays yes true last question I would like to ask you what is your mantra of success I think my mantra for success is. Uh, and and this is very very you know personal for me. I would not say everybody should adopt it. <laughs> I believe that when when I when I see people uh, you know growing around me because of things which I have done for them or with them, uh, I am somebody who get vested in people's success, right? And that's give me a different kind of kind of happiness. So so for me, success success is not about money. But success is you have a great community, people you can rely on, and people uh, who are there for you, right? And uh, and and there is a community where where you want to also you know give back. Uh, I think it's more about people than money. You know, people you can you can be alone with a lot of money, right? Uh, but you can have you know small money, but you have a lot of good people around you, right? So it is more about people for me. Uh, you know, and obviously money money today can be earned by doing a lot of interesting things. So, so yeah, that's, that's, that's success for me. Thank you so much for joining us and share your insights with us. That will be helpful for the students who are watching our show and will be motivating for them so that they can uh, do hard work in their life and follow your mantra of success in their life to get success. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manisha. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.